Next, we're going to mention this, a really cool story, courtesy of the New York Times featuring the one and only Ice Spice. And it's called Ice Spice Broke Out with Munch. Rap's new princess is just warming up. You know, rap princess is a little bit extreme, but I like the article anyway. And I think the reason why I wanted to mention it first is obviously the photography in it is absolutely special. Um, the legendary John Karamika, uh, sorry, Karamanika wrote it, who, you know, most of you would know from really cool um, hip hop related articles and whatnot. And I also think in terms of um, tastefulness, in terms of creative direction, and in terms of just understanding how to kind of A&R somebody and to kind of introduce them into the market, onto the industry slowly and build them up and actually build a fan base around them and anticipation of their songs. I think whoever's in charge, whoever's involved, Ice Spice has done a really good job. Now, it could just be all her and she's really smart and kind of clocked on. You kind of get the impression reading a little bit of this article that John Com Karaminika, sorry, wrote. It's a really good one in terms of kind of describing her origins, what she's up about. But I feel like in general, we've seen how this has gone wrong in some way, shape, or form. I think Lil Nas X might be probably one of the best examples of it, of maybe the quality of music not matching some of the, you know, attention that he maybe gets online and people kind of, you know, getting sour to him. And maybe another person, you know, somebody that maybe kind of looks like um, Ice Spice, you look at somebody like Lato, you look at somebody like Megan Thee Stallion. There was a lot of, I think, disconnect about the amount of attention they kind of got in the mainstream press and how it was trying to how the record label was trying to have them perceived and what was actually going on in the east streets and outside on the streets and i feel like they've done a really good job with i spice in terms of getting her to be somewhat organic or feel like the conversation around on the internet isn't kind of uh, forced um isn't too heavy-handed it kind of makes sense what she's doing and then in the streets they're doing a good example of it also because she's popping out there's a little viral video going of really viral with her um, doing a little practice thing with this other female artist. I've got a name, I think something princesses or something. Um, they're out on some balcony somewhere in New York or it's a fire escape. And allegedly a fan happened to spot them by coincidence talking. And that's them kind of making their collaboration, which is obviously, you know, it's all part of the marketing scheme. Then there's another thing with her promoting her new EP that just dropped, having all these kind of doppel bang, do, doppel bangers, doppel bangers. They probably would do on the bangers, but doppel um, gangers of girls, kind of in a similar style to that film Megan, doing dances and stuff outside in New York, where everyone kind of, I think, I think it might be Times Square, if I'm not mistaken, where everyone kind of goes and busks and stuff, where you see the kind of you know fake Supermans and whatnot, and the break dancers and whatnot out there, and she's got all these kind of you know um, fake ice spices with her wig and the style of clothes doing her little dance and whatnot and that's kind of been a little bit of a street team type effort and i feel like it's been a free pronged attack and then obviously doing articles like this in the broadsheets but i thought something was really interesting in the article that i wanted to keep in touch upon that i thought was good was kind of the admission of how she kind of got into the industry and the lack of um lying about you know what happens in this game and i feel like this is something that happens quite often more soon more often than not people don't really want to admit it so I think the article is somewhere around here. Where is it? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. So I think it's her talking about how she got started kind of rapping and whatnot, right? And it was very organic, obviously, because the attention was there online. I think this is kind of something that maybe I'd say Cardi B is maybe suffering from a little bit at the moment because she speaks a lot about her, you know, lack of confidence in putting out music and worrying what people say and whatnot. And for me, I've always felt like Cardi B was never really an artist or a musician in any kind of way, shape or form. She just took advantage or took, you know, took advantage of the opportunity and the attention she was getting at the time when she was on Love and Hip Hop. And obviously being somebody that was, you know, for some, whatever reason, very likable online, especially in the early days. People loved Cardi B. Um, they loved to have her on shows. They loved to kind of clip her, you know, rants and whatnot and the little mannerisms and share them online. And she was kind of somebody that people kind of got behind and rid for. And obviously using that attention to kind of then, you know, segue into some sort of musical career with the help of writers and producers and stuff kind of worked for the first album. But obviously if you don't care for music that way, you kind of realize how difficult it is to follow up such a really good album like the first one i forgot what it may be so i forgot what it was called some remembrance of peace or something the one with the black and white background and whatnot that was a really good album i think it's the first album to kind of follow that up is going to be very difficult especially if you're not somebody that's intrinsically music inclined so there should be no shame in coming out and just saying hey music if it wasn't for me it was just a hustle like anything else out there in life i i maxed it out i might drop a single or a feature here and there like she's done obviously with the glorilla feature that's obviously doing numbers but there's no need to kind of keep trying to push off to be an artist when you're not 
Sometimes I just use the opportunity to kind of progress and go there. But there's also some people like Ice Spice who kind of got into it just for the attention, just for the money, just for the clout. And then you also kind of find your love for it. You kind of find it as a way of an option to kind of share your story, to say your piece, to be involved in a cultural conversation, to express yourself. And that's the thing, that's the thing you're getting from here. So it says here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So it says, born Isis Gaston to a black father and a Dominican mother who divorced when she was still a toddler, Ice Spice has five young half-siblings. She'd written uh, poetry and raps since childhood and her father routinely encouraged her to freestyle with him. We'd be walking to school and he'd be trying to get me to rap about my day, she recalled. She began writing four songs and she, sorry, she didn't begin writing four songs until 2019, inspired by the breakout wave of Brooklyn dual rappers that included Chef Chi and Pop Smoke and didn't record any of them until 2021, after a video of her doing a bus it challenge gained traction and shared a brief flotation of extreme virality so i like that admission of basically i heard drill and i thought you know what i can do that and i think a lot of kids probably heard the same thing when you hear drill rappers doing what they're doing soundcloud rappers back in the day swag rappers in general cloud rap whatever it may be there was there was a far it was far more or achievable or possible to do what they were doing as opposed to doing what jay-z rakim nas eminem and you know th that kind of era of rappers were doing back then because that's actually rapping which kind of requires you know a whole different side of your brain it's probably something you may be intrinsically born with we have to work hard to do to achieve but when it comes to rapping like you know any number of these swag rappers out there soundcloud rappers out there you'd think most people out there who have some cool ideas could probably put it together if they sat down for a couple of days and kind of worked it out and she kind of did the same thing and i also love the fact that the busset challenge was a big deal because i think i think retrospectively we've all known that now but she was that one girl who obviously looked one way and then did the thing you know the busset challenge where you're dancing with sang with tracks playing and then when it drops you bust it and then suddenly you change and you look like you're about to go out to a real swanky restaurant or a nightclub and the contrast was crazy in it because she looked one way and then she looked completely amazing with her hair straight and shit wearing a blue short skirt and a bum flapping in the air but i think only retrospectively we found out that was her i don't think that was part of the promo that's the interesting part so for her it was a good I open and seeing, oh my god, look at the attention I'm getting. This is amazing. This feels great. Look at the amount of followers I'm getting, blah, blah, blah. Let's just try and ramp this up to something else. But for us, the public, we didn't see that until she got famous. It kind of worked. It kind of uh it kind of worked in her favor backwards. You're sort of way to kind of validate her presence online. Oh yeah, she's been around for Ava. Look, I remember this her this is her in this clip. So it worked out that way. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um and then she says here, once that happened, I was like, oh. If I could do it one more time, I'm pretty sure I could do it again, she added. She then went, she then, that's when she knew she could be an, no, oh, sorry, that's when I knew I could be an artist, I Spices. Since it's an opportunity, she rushed to complete her first song, the squelchy, tough talking, Brooklyn drill esque bully freestyle. She began writing more tracks, documenting the process, evaluating, releasing promo trainers for the each to generate potential enthusiasms. All of her released songs so far have been produced by Riot. The two met when they were studying a communication in Sunny Purchase, where I Spice also played volleyball, as she did at the Catholic high school that she attended in the Bronx. And then, of course, they mentioned, I think, towards the end as well about her being, um, her just being chill. Yeah, anyway, the whole article is cruel. There's another bit of an article too that mentions about her just being chill and understanding things. And I think she also mentions an article saying about how she was hated in the beginning, which was true. I never really understood that, why girls didn't necessarily resonate or like her too tough, which might, you know, maybe you could have some kind of understand it because I'd imagine most girls would feel intimidated because she's probably the girl that a lot of guys would have as friends. But that she kind of reminds me of Nicki Minaj in a way. You know, Nicki Minaj has that energy of a girl that a lot of guys would know, but she knows those guys mostly because she's probably friends with every single one of them. But they secretly have always kind of liked her, but they also kind of respect her because she's a good friend. But she's also incredibly hot. So you'd imagine a lot of other girls who are the girlfriends of those guys wouldn't like a Nicki or an Ice Spice because they're the girl that all the boys like because they can, you know, they, they can hang out with the boys and be cool and be girly and they can hang out with the girls and be girly and not kind of, you know, stepping on your toes. But for the girls that are the partners or the wives, it's not something you want because, you know, you never know how in love your man could fall with someone that is if they're hanging out with them in the park or what in the party. But in general, I think her attitude online has been really commendable to see because there was a moment when there was a lot of hate around her, I would say. 
a lot of girls didn't necessarily like her and that energy when it gets put out especially with these kind of mean girls online especially on the black side of twitter it can be quite make or break you know what i mean you either kind of turn into a villain that no one necessarily supports forever and ever or you turn into somebody that people kind of are infatuated by i think of like a kiki palmer and maybe like an asian doll being a good kind of contrasting examples of like two people who one side of the internet kind of loves and the other side of the internet kind of absolutely hates but i think i spice has done a really good job in terms of maintaining that but like i said you know from the cover of the new ep that's out at the moment to the approach to marketing and rollout whoever's in charge of doing ice spices work now you deserve a lot of praise if it's her herself big pat on the back to that young lady if it's somebody else involved in that team you deserve a lot of praise because this has definitely um, restored my faith in the music industry in terms of people actually knowing what they're doing because for the most part it feels like a lot of talent gets wasted because there's no one really that works in the business that knows how to break artists how to bring them through how to kind of guide them in their career because it's a long one i think you can you can if you want to have a long career in music even if you're just a meme even if you're just for the moment you can kind of squeeze a lot out of that kind of small moment and have it segue into other things that can allow you to essentially go through life without having to work a regular job again i think that's what most people would want especially if you're this creatively minded you don't want to be working behind a cashier or behind a desk somewhere you want to be expressing your art and your creativity in some way shape or form and sometimes Sometimes the music is just like a gateway in doesn't necessarily mean that's just what you're going to do forever and ever you may go into doing stuff behind the scenes you may segue into owning a bar a club a strip club a hookah spot wherever you might you know may not go into something completely different but it's a kind of good to get your foot in build up some capital build up some rep um, you know get your relationships in check and kind of go from there but i really did enjoy this article I really recommend you check it out it's available now in the new yorker it's called ice spice broke out with munch rap's new superstar rap new princess sorry is just warming up check it out if you haven't already check it out if you haven't already